they way is the right way, which there are some dating coaches that do that. They are fools because what worked for him might not work for me. What worked for me might not work for you. And what worked for you might not work for me. Everybody got to kind of figure this shit out. You take a little piece from here. You take a little piece from there and you implement it. My philosophies and all of this shit, that's just what it is. Philosophy, guys. I'm theorizing. I'm telling you guys my experience with life in the world and what I've seen and the shit that's made me successful. Yo, what's going on, y'all? So I wanted to make this video because I was just on stream last night. Uh, shout out to everybody that tuned in on the stream. Make sure y'all turn those post notifications on. Hit that bell. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Check out the Patreon and also check out uh, the, the Discord. I want all y'all to join that Discord, man. For you know, we be we building a good community over here. Young and disciplined, dating advice, life advice, all that. But basically, I had a guy on stream. He commented and he said, he said, man, he said, I just don't know who to really listen to no more. You know, he's like. Everybody kind of give different advice and everybody say, you know, different stuff. I just don't know who to follow for dating advice. This is the thing right here that I want y'all to understand, okay? I know I get on this camera and I talk a lot of shit and I talk passionate, right? But one thing I want y'all to understand about me is I'm a very down to earth guy. I understand life, human nature, female nature, male nature, and just people very well. And one thing that I've learned in life, guys, is that there are general principles on how you achieve something. But ultimately, what do I tell y'all? Your game is going to look different than my game. It's going to look different than Taekwondo's game. It's going to look different than so on and so forth. Do y'all see what I'm saying? It's more than one way to achieve the result that you're looking for, right? Now, there are basic principles that you probably, we all going to have, but the exact method or how we go about it, it's going to depend on what you're looking for when you're dealing with women, if you want a relationship, if you want a fuck buddy, if you just want some girl that's your girlfriend, if you want a fiance, right? A lot of these things is going to be similar, but there's going to be some differences. Basically, I say this to say, I recognize that the shit that I say, guys, it's just my strategy. It's just my opinion on what I what works for me and what works for guys that I've seen and what I think can help y'all. That's the whole reason I made this channel. But that's not to say that all my ways is the end all be all. This is one thing I learned. Opinions are just like assholes. Everybody got one and that motherfucker stink. There's a whole bunch of opinions out here. Everybody's gonna have their own philosophy on how to do things with dating. So even if you see a video where I'm going off and I think something somebody's saying is bullshit, that's just my opinion. That, that's all it is. There's more than one way to achieve the result that y'all trying to get. This is why I'm telling you guys, you gotta find what works best for you. You gotta create your own tailor-made game so that the game that you do is crafted to you. So that means you might watch a little bit of Y&D and take some shit I say here. Take some this, take some of that. You might watch some Taekwondo. You take some of this, you take some of that. You might watch Riz videos or you might watch True Cam or maybe you watch uh, Coach Kyle or you watch, what's his name, Ron Wills or you watch uh, Fit X, right? There's a, a whole bunch of guys that teach dating advice. You can watch all of us and take little different stuff. And what I find, to be quite honest with you, even the guys that I come at their neck or I disagree with certain stuff, I still want y'all to understand, I agree with a lot of the different fundamentals of different dating coaches out here. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing out the differences and talking about what make me different because if I got on the camera and started saying the exact same shit as everybody else, then what the fuck is the point of watching me, right? I could get on camera and talk about looks maxing and shit and get all buff and do say exactly what Fit X Fearless say. Well, why would I do that? That's not gonna create a brand. This is Y and D, young and disciplined. I give you guys principles of life, discipline strategies, dating strategies and i teach you guys to stick with these shits and different stuff like that that's what makes me me and that's what makes the fam that i'm building and the family that we building over here that's what make us unique from the next group but that's not to say that there's not a lot of commonality between me and other dating coaches or that you can't watch other people you know what i'm saying i'm never gonna be that guy that's trying to make you feel like you gotta just watch me you gotta find what work for you this is why i keep telling you guys experimental mindset abundance mindset get used to rejection failure and figuring out what works for you and how you look if you a dark-skinned guy and you got braids or locks and you five foot four your game is gonna be different than me a light-skinned dude that's five foot eleven with curly hair and i and i got a different type of game and a different build than you and a different perception of how women view me off rip so i have a different game than a five foot four dude that got locks if you a white dude 
If you a white dude and you quote unquote corny and but you like black women, you might not be able to go the whole trying to sweet talk like you a street guy or a tough guy. If you're trying to get black women and use a white guy, okay? You're gonna have to play a different game. You you might need to find somebody else that talk a little differently than me. Or maybe use a white guy that you relate more to how I talk and how I act. And what I'm telling you can help you with getting black women. Or even if you're trying to get white women, or if you're an Indian guy, if you're a Latino guy, or whatever you are, maybe some of the stuff I tell you ain't the best for you. But maybe some stuff really is, and it helps you so much. This is why everybody has different experiences. Some guys can watch me and they say, man, what this guy's talking about. You know, this ain't really helping me that much. But then there's other guys that watch me like the incels or guys that don't know that they incels or they just struggling to get sex and they trying to. Because incel guys, you ain't got to be in no big community. It just means that you're involuntarily celibate. So it means that you want to have sex, but you having a hard time. I like to make videos for those type of guys. Right. But then I also do make videos that's advanced game for guys that's getting ass so they know how to optimize their game and maximize their ass intake. But I also make videos for relationship type of guys. I may I try to make everything because I know everybody's in a different space in their life. But all this shit is my opinion. You got to go out here and try for yourself to figure out what worked for you. And I would be a fucking fool. Anybody that's on here acting like they way is the right way, which there are some dating coaches that do that. They are fucking fools because what worked for him might not work for me. What worked for me might not work for you. And what worked for you might not work for me. Everybody got to kind of figure this shit out. You take a little piece from here. You take a little piece from there and you implement it. My philosophies and all of this shit. That's just what it is. Philosophy, guys. I'm theorizing. I'm telling you guys my experience with life in the world and what I've seen and the shit that's made me successful. So I'm not. And I just don't want you guys crying and bitching and shit no more about how women are. So this is why I tell you some of my philosophies on how I view women or a good way. You got to, you know, change your mindset on women. But nonetheless, it's a fucking philosophy. Some guys disagree with what I'm saying. And honestly, guys, outside of this YouTube shit in real life, I'm a guy that can agree to disagree. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I can agree to disagree. I hate the motherfucker that always want to act like they way is the right way. This is my channel, so I'm going to say my opinion and what I think. If you don't fucking like it, you make your own fucking opinion on your own channel and post your own fucking videos. That, that, that's all I say. But... As far as people disagreeing with me or some shit or me telling you that this way is the right way or this way, guys, you're going to have to experiment and figure out what advice works for you. Some of you guys can wait four days to text back a girl and that helps you a lot. Some of you guys might have to wait seven days because that shows your value more than what she perceived your value was at first. All of this different shit. So that's really it, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, figure out your own game, figure out what works best for you. You got to find your own game out here. Everybody has different strategies and approaches. You got to figure out what you look looking for and what you want and you got to figure this shit out as a man but we all in this together uh, i'll see y'all in the next video